Hi there, we are Lisa and Chris. Please join us aboard our main ship 390, Cool Beans, as we cruise America's Great Loop. fish camps here in Louisiana. This house is right here. You can come down here for the weekend and enjoy. For recap, we traveled 47 nautical miles from Lake Arthur, Louisiana to Shell Morgan. Day 5 recap, we traveled 56 nautical miles from Shell Morgan, Louisiana to Morgan City, Louisiana. Good morning. Good morning. Today is our eighth day on the water, which means we have been gone seven nights on our loop, right? That's correct. I wanted to do a little commemoration of our first seven nights and ask you seven questions. You ready? Sure. What has been the best moment so far of this loop for you? Leaving Boardwalk Marina, <laughs> knowing we finally um, were on our way. What has been the worst moment? <laughs> When the float on the bilge pump failed in the middle of the intercoastal. Yes. Uh, what has been the most surprising moment or thing about the loop? I don't really have an answer. I, everything's kind of gone as planned so far. Okay. What has been the prettiest place you've seen so far? Oh, the most memorable were the um, the bald eagles we saw along the way. Oh, yes. They were gorgeous. Um, what was the scariest moment in the last week? When the wind was blowing us away from the fuel dock and we yeah. were trying to hold steady and it was next to impossible. Yes, that was scary. Um, one sec. Okay. What was the most frustrating moment? That would definitely be the same answer, the wind at the, <laughs> at the fuel dock. And last question, what has been the most relaxing moment or thing that we've done? Basically every night. Um, it's just so calm and peaceful, even when you're uh, tied to a wall in a river, I still slept wonderfully. I did too, surprisingly. So, where are we leaving from and where are we headed to? We're leaving Morgan City and headed to Huma, Homa. I'm not sure the correct pronunciation. I'm not either. We're good. Well, thank you for that seven-day interview.
This floating vegetation is called water hyacinth. It forms dense mats which clog waterways, making boating, fishing, and almost all other water activities impossible. The mats degrade the water quality by reducing oxygen levels in the water, eliminating underwater animals such as fish. We encountered it in Morgan City almost all the way to Homa. So you might be interested in our RPMs and our knots, and today is a good day. It's not very windy. I think we've got a little current. We are going 7.8 knots at about 1600 RPM. This is great. If we could do this the whole loop, Chris would be very happy, but it's not going to happen because sometimes there are currents, winds, uh, prop wash from big barges. Day six recap. We traveled 32 nautical miles from Morgan City, Louisiana to Homa, Louisiana. Day 7 recap, we traveled 66 nautical miles from Homa, Louisiana to New Orleans. Okay, it's time for Chris's tip of the week. This week, we are going to talk about surveyors. After you find your vessel, I highly recommend you have two surveys done, a vessel survey and a mechanical survey. Uh, these two surveyors, they're experts in their field. They'll be able to tell you every little thing that's wrong at the current time with your vessel, whether it be something as simple as a light bulb or if they believe you're fixing to have severe mechanical failure. It is, um, it's not a cheap process, but it's worth every penny. Agreed. Good evening. Welcome back aboard Cool Beans. Just a quick uh, recap of our week. We started off Monday. Where did we leave from? Lake Arthur. Lake Arthur. Mm -hmm. We went to Shell Morgan after that was Monday. Tuesday we left Shell Morgan and spent the night on the wall at Morgan City. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. We went Morgan City to Homa. Wednesday we went Morgan City to Homa. 
and um, in Homa. We had some shopping to do. Our buddy boat replaced his radios. He had two down radios. We had to pick up a few things at the Marine store. Got an Amazon pickup. Woo. Amazon pickup. Uh, Thursday we stayed in um, in Homa. Uh, bad weather was coming in, so we decided to stay. Friday we left Homa and en route to New Orleans. It should have been about a seven and a half hour trip. It was a 12 and a half hour trip. We, um, we got behind every slow moving barge, every lock we had to wait on. We did. We had two uh, train bridges we had to wait to open. One of them we waited, it seemed like an hour. We With had, the bridge construction. We had a const yeah. uh, bridge under construction that rerouted us about 45 minutes back to the south and then back to the north. But it was a um, it was a long day, a little bit stressful at times, and we had decided on Friday evening we were going to go ahead and stay an extra day here in New Orleans, mm -hmm. just because the, it was such a long day on Friday. Uh, our buddy Bo woke up with a bilge full of water on Saturday morning. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Finally found the problem. It was um, exhaust baffle leaking. Got that fixed. Spent another day. And we're leaving tomorrow morning, Monday morning, yep. en route to Bay St. Louis. Bay St. Believe. Louis, Mississippi. Yeah. Yes. It's been a good week. It's been a great week. We yeah. haven't traveled as many miles as uh, we had hoped, but that's fine with us. We're not on the schedule. That's right. We've, um, when we started planning this trip, we built in tons of extra days for weather, for breakdowns, or if we came to a port and we wanted to stay another day or two because the uh, activities around yep. all that it, you know was built into our schedule so we're still we're still fine on time absolutely we appreciate all the comments and subscribers and everybody watching it's it's really fun uh, reading your comments we had a good comment this week I don't have it in front of me but the gist of it was go dogs. Uh, he saw the Aggie flag on the back of our boat. So we would just like to shout out to him and say Giga Maggies. <laughs> <laughs> y'all have a great week. Looking forward to seeing y'all Wednesday as always.